All right, y'all ready? We give my all praises unto Yahweh, Baha Shum, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shum, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our elders and the apostles. A great millstone. That's who we rolling with. That's who we with. That's who we learn from. And uh, Shalom to the hopeful elect Akim. You know, we salute all the brothers out there doing the work like he was commanded. Hey, let's start off with that scripture. James 1 and 20. Unless you already had some. James 1 and 22. I'm proud to bring this out every video. We're going to keep bringing this scripture out. And what we're going to keep telling y'all, this video is not for your entertainment. This is for your instruction and learning so you can become a teacher. Go ahead. This is James 1 and 22. It says, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. So be you doers of the word and not hearers only. Like, you know, guys get on the comment board. They're like, man, I appreciate what y'all is doing. They keep up the good work. No, you supposed to do the work too. Don't tell us to keep up the good work. I hate to sound like an asshole or whatever, but that's, you. we're all supposed to be doing the work, man. So the whole reason we make these videos is so you can learn the doctrine and you can go teach it, man. You're supposed to be doers of the word and not hearers only. That applies to everybody. It's not like the Lord just said, oh, just to select you guys are the teachers. You know, the whole body. Everybody who believes is also supposed to be a teacher, man. You might have rare cases where a guy can't teach, but, but you're not, you're probably not one of them. You know, you got guys who in a wheelchair go out teaching. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you, then was there a video of dudes in a wheelchair? He's out there teaching? There's no excuses, man. You got more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. James 1 and 22 again, it says, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. Be you doers of the word, and not hearers only. Doing the word it means what we're doing. We come out and teach. We also make videos, you know, all through the week. We're, you know, spamming the internet with videos. Getting this word out there. Breaking the algorithm. Go ahead. It says, Deceiving your own self. Yeah, there you deceive your own self. When you say, oh, these guys, they're doing such a good job. I don't need to teach. No, you just deceived yourself, man. That's a deception right there. That's a delusion. You're supposed to do the work also. If you got the fear in the Lord, then you're going to go teach the word of the Most High. And say, let's say you don't know everything, right? Stick to the basics. The Lord only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You know, read that scripture. Oh, yeah, read that scripture. Get one of them. Stick to the basics. You ain't got to go super deep. You notice we don't be going super deep all the time, do we? We do when we have to. Because the truth is simple. There's a simplicity in Yahawashad. And his name's Yahawashad. The Lord's, hey, you got to teach that. The Lord's name's not Yeshua. It's not Yahshua. It's not Yesu. It's not, definitely not Jesus. His name's Yahawashad. And the name of the Heavenly Father is uh, Yahweh. It's not Yahweh. <laughs> Verse 23 says, For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is likened to a man beholding his natural face in a glass. That's right. You got something? Yeah, you got, you got a little more in there. That's it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. And whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. Yeah. Yeah, if you're doing the work, you're going to be blessed in your deeds. You know? You're going to be rewarded, you know what I'm saying? For the sacrifice you've made, you know, the time you took out to teach the word. And plus, when you're teaching, when you start teaching, when you really start learning, first of all, but when you actually doing the work, and now you got a lot more stake in it, too, you know? You, you, in, just a, you in the spirit more when you're out here teaching. You feel the spirit a lot stronger with you when you're out here teaching, man. Yeah, that's why, like, it's called impossible. It's hard to make a video every single day. Every day. Because that keeps you in the spirit. Now, if you don't teach the word, then you're going to be forgetful. Like like, that, like they say, if you don't use it, you uh, forget it or however they say. Bro. Use it or lose it. But uh, this is uh, Hebrews 4 and uh, 11. It says, Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Is any man fall after the same example of unbelief? That's what people they, what people want you to do. They want you to do the work and let them receive the benefits. 
But no, scripture says we all supposed to work for the same penny. If you want to receive that reward, you gotta work for it, you gotta labor. And if you don't, and you're not gonna be able to get into that rest, you might you're gonna come into that rest, but after you get destroyed, you know what I'm saying? But uh yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Get yeah. the harvest scripture. The harvest is plenty of there's a lot of work to be done. What is the whole reason we came out here teaching? To make us look good? Nah, bro. So other people could also become teachers, man. It's the whole reason. Well, how did we learn the word of the most high? It's because the elders was on the streets doing the work. I was watching videos on YouTube. And I learned from them. And, I, and then he got on us. He's like, now once you learn this, you're supposed to go teach it. And I was like, okay, I got you. You know what I mean? You got something over there? It's on Luke 12, and I'm going to start at 43. It says, Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he has. So when you how shall I come back, you want to see you working, see you putting in work, see you doing. Okay? See you pushing his gospel, pushing the word on fire. Okay? He don't want no for one group one because he's saying to be group one he's going to spew up spew you out his mouth. Yeah, that's Revelation or 3 and 16. Yep, and I'm going to jump down to 47. He says, And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. And, and what did Yahweh Shai say to Peter? If you love me, feed my sheep. Okay, so you've got to be out there. You've yeah. got to be out there on the highways second. and byways. Just want to cap the one come out. If you really love Yahweh Shai, if you really believe in this in this word, okay? Yahweh Shai asked Peter, do you love me? He said, yes. He said, well, feed my sheep. So if you love Yahweh Shai, you're going to be out here teaching. You're going to be out here preaching. You're going to be doing your lessons. You're going to be on fire. So yeah. You about Yahweh Shai. I'm going to study, too. Yeah, I'm study. But like it says, and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. And that's the spirit of the brother did a, a beautiful video. Um, I, I believe it was entitled, What Will You Do With Your Grace Period? This is our grace period to be, you know what I'm saying? Putting off the old man, you know, changing our ways, doing the best we can for you. How about you now shine? You know what it says? Um, be diligent to make your calling and election sure. Be diligent in what? Doing the work. Studying, like the elder said. Doing your videos. Coming out on the highways and byways. Getting up with brothers doing lessons. Whatever the case may be. Because if you're not doing the work, that must mean you love this world and you want this to continue forever, man. That's what that means. Because if you truly hated this world, the Lord said, love not the world, right? So if you really hated this wicked, evil world, you're going to come out here and curse it out. You're going to make videos. You're going to do whatever's in your power. It's really in the Lord's power. You're going to give all your entire essence and your entire being to doing the work of the Lord, man. I got one more verse. It says, verse 48, But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required. Right, because we's given a lot. This is a great treasure right here. So since, since the Lord bestowed all this knowledge upon you, you're supposed, you're supposed to go and teach it, man. Freely give, freely, uh, well, freely receive, freely give, you know? You can't be playing with the Lord's money. Exactly. It says, of him shall be much required, and to whom men have commit, committed much of him, they will ask for more. That's, that's pretty much it. I was also thinking of what's that one in First Corinthians, the first chapter? Is that the first chapter? Uh, we said, be, "Where are the disputers of this world?" And this is Luke uh, ten, Luke ten, and uh, what's that one? Ten and uh, two. It says, uh, therefore said he unto them, the harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye that, therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Right, that's what we praying. The Lord going to give us more laborers. We need help. You know, we we even expect us to do all this by ourselves. I, we got a lot of brothers already, but there should be people teaching on every street corner, man. Like we in Columbus, Ohio, right? Where's all the rest of the Israelites at? And we got guys all the time that come up like, yeah, what's up, Israel? 
Shalom. Shalom Khan. But where y'all teaching that? Khan. You know how that's all you, you know how Jake is. He learned a couple Hebrew words. As good they know the Hebrew, you know, a little couple words. But they want to act like they're the expert. If you're an expert, how come you're not teaching? You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be out here teaching the word of the Most High. And they go, I didn't feel like it was my, my purpose. And the Lord did not chose you. Maybe he didn't choose you then. Maybe he didn't, you know. Maybe they weren't. It's like that guy, you know, he went to the Lord. He said, good master. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do to us pretty much. They give them a... Uh, uh, praising all the brothers, y'all doing a good job, and then they don't want to follow, they don't want to continue because the Lord told that man, I believe it's the same man, he told him to go sell what you have and come follow me. And he was like, Oh, say, well, I can't do that. Well, then you can't follow, you ain't worthy for the Lord. That's that's a lot of these people. Well, I can't teach saying? right now, I gotta wait till I get out of college, and then uh, I got my job, and my sister, and my mom. <laughs> they always got excuses. They try, the Lord ain't, ain't trying to hear no excuses, man. Let me try to hear that. You got that. What is that? Corinthians? We saw in 1 Corinthians, the first chapter, um, the 20. It says, where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Yeah, y'all so wise. You know so much. Go ahead. Where is the disputer of this world? Where is the disputer of this world? And that's another thing, too. I, like on that new YouTube channel I got. I see y'all see it, too, right? All the scoffers. You get all the scoffers come on the channel and they trying to correct you all the time act like they're an expert on the bible they leave a message you know a, a mile long message look like the intro text of star wars you know what i mean they just be long but you scrolling down you keep scrolling like how long does this message go but you click on their name go to their channel and they have no videos man they doing no work but they're an expert you know what i'm saying Y'all trash, man. That's trash. You weak. You know? Go ahead. It says, it says, uh, where is the disputer of this world? Where's the disputer of this world? You're supposed to dispute this world. We know this world's wicked and evil. So you're supposed to come out here and dispute this world. Okay, right now the whole world lies in wickedness. That's plus a Satan. <laughs> the whole world lies in wickedness. Ain't nobody following the commandments out here, you know? All of our people covered from head to foot in tattoos. You got the blue-haired weirdos left and right. You know, the women are out of control, all loose. They're a bunch of whores and harlots. Let's finish in the verse. It says, have not yet. I will make foolish the wisdom of this world. Oh, yeah, the people of wisdom they got in this world is foolishness. Like, when people come up here and try to debate us, they sound dumb as hell. You know? Oh, like, like, what did they say? Oh, you follow a book written by man. The Bible was written by man. Why would I listen to that? They sound dumb, bro. Wasn't every science book written by man? Every history book, mathematic book? <laughs> I guess we, you know, you can't read science books. That's written by man. Dumb as hell, bro. These people dumb. <laughs> this just sounds goofy, don't it? Right, stupid. You got some over there? Nice. That's fire scriptures. Yeah, real quick, uh, Titus 1 Whew. and uh, 16 says, They profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him. Oh, that's I saw them scoffers that come on the comment board. Oh, y'all wrong. You say there's no such thing as hell. There is a hell. You're going to burn in it forever. <laughs> but, but you go to their channel and they got no videos. If we're so wrong, how come we have more passion and more faith than the, you know, these so-called Christians? The Christians, they don't put in no word. They, all they do is get on the comic boards and talk shit. But you go to the channel and they have no videos. If the Lord was dealing you with, with you so much, how come he didn't make it so to put it in your spirit to make a bunch of videos, to go on the streets and teach, you know? Where's your, where, where's your passion? Where's your faith? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, they, them Christians, you know, they love Paul. But, you know, that's a good thing. But Paul was a, was a good example. He, he, They couldn't shut him up. You know what I'm saying? Even they put him in prison. They killed him, all that. He still came back and kept teaching the word. <laughs> y'all Christians have no, no, uh, y'all not no, y'all were nowhere near that spirit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Paul was, man. Paul went all in, man. He was, he was shipwrecked. He was traveling around in boats. 
Stoned to death. They ready, yeah, they, they got stoned to, stoned to death. Everywhere he went, people wanted to beat his ass, you know? They like, he gotta get this Paul guy up out of here. You think you know? It I'll says, go ahead. It says, being abominable and disobedient unto every good work, Roper bait. Which Roper bait means you worthless. So in every uh -huh. single good work, which this is a good work right here, teaching the word, you're worthless, you're a Roper bait. You're, you're, you ain't doing nothing, you ain't putting no time in. You know what I'm saying? What's that word? They're infidels. Right. Infidel means without faith, lack of faith. You know, if you're one of guys, you don't want to go out teaching and you don't want to do the work of the Lord, you're an infidel. You count you as an infidel. <laughs> hey, them Christians love to sing them gospel hymns. Like, go tell it on the mountain. Y'all ain't called God and told it to nobody. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they, ain't told, they ain't told nobody. All they did was come on our videos and talk to the people who already know the Bible and talk shit about us. That's all y'all did. And then they get mad when we talk shit about the Christians. It's um, John 21. I'm going to start at 15. It says, so when they did, when it's like, it says, when they had denied Yahweh's side, saying to Simon, Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Oh, that's a, the Christians be like, I love Jesus. I love Jesus, my Lord and Savior, oh sweet Jesus. They be saying that. Go ahead. It says, Thou knowest that I love thee, he said unto him, Feed my lambs. Feed my lambs. And who's those lambs? That's the Israelites. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Oh, the lambs is also men. Young men. <laughs> Big brain. Verse 16. He said from to this slacking. Yeah, because we're not out here for women, but this whole message is talking to the man, not the woman. We don't want to see no women out there teaching, man. No woman's allowed to teach. You gotta make that clear. If you have an Israelite uh, Israelite camp, you know, with women in it. Then you say you see somebody seen a uh a Israelite group with women teaching? Right? That, that was, yeah, Eli yeah, Eli seen it. They was here in Columbus. They had a woman tell them, give me that scripture. <laughs> Crazy. Verse 16 says, he said to him again, the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, feed my sheep. Feed his sheep. Okay, that's the, that's the Israel, man. He's supposed to feed Israel. He's supposed to, how do you feed him? Doesn't mean that actually we gotta, gotta give them some pancakes, you know what I mean? Some scrambled eggs. Nah, bro, we're gonna feed them the truth, feed them the scriptures. Because our people are hungry. Because if you don't feed them, somebody else is gonna feed them. That, that's a fact right there. If we don't feed our people, somebody else is gonna feed them. And you know what else? You know what the church is gonna feed them? Some slops. You're gonna have, Gen you gonna have Geno Jennings. Wasn't that Geno Jennings teaching them? That's some bitch crazy. You're going to have Creflo Dollar teaching them. Or they might get taught by some ancient aliens people. They're going to get taught by Zachariah Sitcher. they get taught by uh, the Flat Earthers. Or they might get taught... Who's some other crazy people out there they might get taught by? Oh, oh yeah, they could fall into the Kemet trap. They might go to Jehovah Wickedness. So, like I said, we don't teach what somebody else will. If we don't... We, that's why we got to feed our people, man. And we got to feed them more. We got to outwork every other group that's out there. Any other church, group, whatever, we're going to outwork them, man. We're going to teach more to them. He says, verse 17, he said unto him the third time, so he, he constantly asking, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, drilling in his head, like, do you really love me? He, he, you know what I'm saying? He's making a clear message, like, this is serious, okay? So put yourself in Peter's shoes. This is serious, man. We really got to be out here doing this work, man. This is nothing to, you know what I'm saying, take lightly. It says, he said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time. He said, that's because he, that goes back to, he said, he's going to deny me three times before the cock crows. He's like, oh, man, this is creepy. He says, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. The house I said for to him, feed my sheep. He said, Thou knowest I love thee. Yeah. 
Hey, yeah, that, hey. That guilt hit him. Yeah, yeah that's a guilt right there, boy. Because he already denied him three times, but the Lord forgave him and hey. So that's how we got filled too. If you could, like, imagine if you just like, didn't go to camp for, for some bullshit reason. You know what I'm saying? That shit should beat you up and then you should get your ass out there work. Because Paul said what? He said, uh, uh, woe unto me if I don't preach the gospel. If you don't teach the word, the Lord going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I got a preset to that because he said, uh, you know, feed my sheep. And this is uh, Psalm 22. 22. You see how shy I quoted this in uh, John somewhere. It's, uh, I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation when I praise thee. That's what you're doing to uh, to this day, we out here teaching, we telling people the name of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? We praising the Lord for everybody. Like it's another song somewhere that says, "I praise the Lord for everybody, for the heathen." You know, everybody sees us. Everybody got the eyes on us. Like Scripture says, uh, that uh, we were spectacle before men and, and, and angels and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can see. That's how it should be. But a lot of people are ashamed. They don't want to be seen. You know what I'm saying? They want to be uh, in a cut somewhere or whatever. Or they they might make a video, and you know what I'm saying? Every once in a month, you know, every once in a while and shit, they never show them faces, they never go out and teach on, on a word. Nobody knows who this person is. You know, scripture says that the, 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 the eyes shall see your teachers. You know, you can't be ashamed of it. All right? Just like that was it. Hey, look, uh, do that. Uh, he is ashamed of me. So, yeah. You know that one? Oh, you want the gospels? Yeah. You got some over there? So, this is on uh, Revelations 3. And I'm going to start at 16. Shame to me and my Matter of fact, I'm going to start at 15. It says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. Now read that again, all right? Um, Revelation 3 and 15. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot. So then... Y'all, it's like it, yeah, so... Oh, just keep going, I'm sorry. <laughs> I get it too excited. Says, so then, because thou art lukewarm... And neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Right, so the Lord, he don't want a part-time Israelite, a part-time teacher. You just make a video, even if you only make one video a week, that's trash. You trash. But, I mean, that's, that's a start. That's that's really not, a, you got to do more, man. We getting close to the end, you got to do more. We can all do more. I can do more. You know, that's why I tell myself. Sometimes I got slow days. I try to like, man, I feel like I, I call myself trash. Like, that's trash, bro. That's garbage. You know, <laughs> sometimes, you know, but we got to do our best to keep pushing the work, man. You're going to tell me you can't put more than over one video uh, a week? Daily, daily. That's how we exhort brothers with the videos. Because I get excited every day when I see the elders put a video up. You know, the Apostle Tahar. A riot mob or uh, Gabar put a video up. I get excited, man. I'm like, oh, I love these videos. You know, that's my daily, my daily medicine right there. Medicine, that, yeah, that means they heal. That's my healing right there. Yeah, because you know the people of the world, they smoke their weed and they blunts every day. That's how they get, you know. That's their. We get our comfort from the Lord. We need them videos. See, that's we just also say that's a good point. Because is uh. Not only do we put these videos up to teach brothers and bring new brothers into faith, but it also comforts brothers that's already in the faith. Because we'll watch a video, we already know everything he's saying. But we're going to watch it because it feels good. Yeah, it's like I was telling you about the video you had, dude. It was exhorting. I'm like, man, he was, you know, brother was in the spirit. Like, you know, you got days when you low in the spirit. Oh, yeah. And then the brother do some fire. Some Somebody else be in the spirit. Like, man, come and get up, man. You get up, you stand up on your two feet, man. You start to... Busting off videos, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's all about it. And sometimes I don't want to do a video. Maybe my flesh gets weak and I'm like, I can't do no video. I'm going to still do it anyway. I'll force a video out. You know what I mean? What happened last night to me? I was like, it was kind of late. I'm like, man, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I start going in the spirit, you know what I'm saying? I was start moving. Like, you know how the spirit just, it just, you just click in. But I was sorry though, because video got cut off because oh, uh, it'd, be like, it'd be like that sometimes short stories and stories and shit but hey that's i think you know through the spirit you know i'm not bragging whatever i'm just saying that's, I, I, I was in the spirit you know what i'm saying that's sometimes, sometimes it'd be like that like sometimes it don't always come to you like like that you know what i'm saying sometimes they gotta you gotta warm up to it and then finally the spirit will finally get inside and, you, and then you do what you do you know if you saying? ain't got a topic just open up the book and read if you ain't got a topic 
Do a topic on the Lord came for Israel. Read Matthew 15 and 24. Do a topic you already did a thousand times before. There's, we talking about you ain't got a topic. It's all about repetition. If I ain't got a topic, you know what I do? I'll read Matthew 15 and 24. Matthew 10, 5 and 6 again. They like, you doing this again? Yeah, I did it again. Okay? Also, I made I done made a, the same hell video about hell, how there's no hell, over and over again, man. Because the same people uh, don't watch your video. It might be a different person to watch it this time anyway. So there's no excuse. Oh, I can't come up with a topic. Well, you can't come up with a topic. You got this big old book, you know? I remember he told me that when I first came out here. You know, I was like, you was like, I forget, I think the camera got cut off. So he was like, we're going to do a brother, do a video for this brother. He was like, man, all you need is one scripture. How to, you know what I'm saying, lead the spirit. Yeah, that's all you got to get is that one that's scripture. That's how we come out here. You know, we do can. We, whoever between me and the brothers, or if the brother calls or something, take that one. <laughs> I just take that one scripture, man, and go with the spirit. That's what it usually takes me. I got to hear that one good scripture, and I'm gone, you know? It's like you go open up the book of Proverbs, and, bro, just the Proverbs get you going, you know? Just read a random proverb and have you in the spirit. Yeah, some people in the back of their Bible, you got that verse finder. Uh, oh, got, yeah, hey, that helps. You know what I'm saying? Different, yeah, different topics and stuff. Yeah, they got topics, man. So we're going to do the videos whether we want to or not, you know? Just like the push-ups, you know? Who that? Andrew Tate was saying that, right? He said, I don't do push-ups in the morning because I want to do them. I mean, we want to do this work, though, you know? But sometimes your flesh gets weak and you're tired and this and that. You just do it anyway, man. Hey, I don't want to go to work in the morning. I don't want to get kicked out of my house for not paying the rent, though. You know what I mean? Two <laughs> days in the morning trying to get up to work, boy. Right. You, you don't want to get up in the morning. You'd be, that's... Sometimes you wake up in the morning, you gotta go to. It feels like you're being ripped out your mother's womb or something like violently. You just bite, you know. You, you want to lay there. And, that's what Marcus Aurelius said, man. He said, "I in the morning, I want to stay in my bed, all cozy in my sheets, man. I don't want to get up, but I get up anyway. I got an empire to run. God damn it, I'm gonna sit here and lay in bed all goddamn day. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna do this work, man. I got a scripture for that." <laughs> Proverbs, let me see. Um, Proverbs 20 and, 20 and uh, 13 says, Love. Hold on, hold on. Let me start up a little bit. Check that time. I can't even see that thing. Uh, let, me, let me start up at um, 11. It says, Even a child is known by his doings, whether his works be pure or whether it be right. That's what, that's what Scripture says. Uh, you shall be known by your works. When he says, Your works shall follow you. You know, so we ain't doing no work to see it then you know what I'm saying what the Lord gonna come back and he gonna look at you like what you been doing this whole time you a full grown able bodied man you should be doing the work of the Lord there's no excuses it says that the hearing ear and the seeing eye that I will have made even both of them it says love not sleep he shall come to poverty open thine eyes and thou shalt be satisfied with bread like I said, I'm, I don't want to get up in the morning and do this. Same thing. Hey, there's a spiritual sleep because people are spiritual sleep. But scripture says, "Love not sleep." It, I mean, this earth, like the, like the elder um, Ariala said, you know, in Dallas, he said this. You know, this earth was really made for us. Okay, it was made for us to enjoy. It's made for us to, you know, you supposed to just go out to a fucking bush and eat. You know what I'm saying? But this world got taken away from us. Long. Long. And he got took away and, he get, and, he, and he, it got put into the hands of Esau, Edom. You know what I'm saying? So we can't enjoy this earth right now. So we got to forsake the pleasures and forsake all the, you know, the laziness and get to work. So we can later enjoy the rest. As the scripture we just read earlier, the Hebrew says, labor to enter into that rest. Just like in the uh, time of Exodus. You know what I'm saying? Before they had to get to the promised land, they had to work. They had to, they had to travel. They had to do this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? They had to be tried and all this, you know? Yeah, I got tried as gold is tried in the fire. Uh, yep. Hey, should get that scripture. Oh. There's, a, there's a bunch of scriptures on that. Oh man, that's a spirit. Hey, I ain't I ain't getting that that topic in a long time. I tried. You know what I'm saying? I gotta make a video on that. That's a spirit. Woo. Which one you get? Okay, okay. Oh, what's that? Let me hear that one. I think I just read. Oh man, what? Yeah, read that. 
against the rock too. And five, it says, for gold is tried in the fire. Ooh, yeah. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So you might go through some things doing the work of the Lord. Your family come against you. <laughs> I mean, you know, I have problems. With, I have my baby's mama, right? She's a demon anyway. I ain't like her no way, bro. <laughs> but, you know, we was having problems before I started teaching. But, you know, when I started teaching and I started getting to the scriptures, that became a problem. That became a serious problem. And that caused a breakup right there. I'm going to take your old heathen ass out of here, there, woman. I don't need you. You're replaceable. I don't even need a woman. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I need a woman. The woman talking about she don't need... No, I don't need you. <laughs> your family come against you. You know, your mother, brother, sister. We all know the Lord said your own enemies be the, those of your own household. Ain't nobody ever hated nobody for celebrating Easter. They, help, they hate you for not celebrating Easter. For not celebrating Christmas. You know what I mean? So we know we the real men of the Lord. What's that, Matthew? What's that, Matthew 10 and 6? He said, be wary when men speak well of you. Read, please, listen to Solomon 3 and um, 5. It says, and having being little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For God proved them and found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace have he tried them. Where's that one at? Listen to Solomon 3 and 6. Okay. And received them as a burnt offering. Read that again. It says, as gold in the furnace have he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. There's another scripture too to say Israel is like gold. Oh, go ahead. It says, uh, and in a time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people and the Lord shall reign forever. We're going to run through the sparks. When I said super, we're going to be like Flash Superman. You know, like, pew, pew, pew. Heads just popping off all over the place. <laughs> you gonna run through like what's that one on the uh the boys what, the boy he was so fast he just he ran through somebody on accident and splattered him you know what i mean he did this one big dirty and he was just running up the street could you imagine seeing a big old fat bitch like uh lizzo or something and you just be like <laughs> just blubber just exploding everywhere <laughs> You just run, man, you gonna run through somebody and explode them, bro? Hey. That's crazy. Hey, Flash, that nigga, he can go so fast. Like, he can move his hand so fast, he can go through your, your body and shit. Like, grab your heart and shit. You oh, know? shit. So he can, you know. We're gonna run through like sparks. We're gonna, the Lord gonna give us superpowers. We're gonna give us the power of flight. I see some brother upload the video. He said we got the power of flight. Take up wings like eagles. That's like Isaiah 40. Now, that sounds crazy to a fool. But how you think the Lord and the angels coming back to the earth? They coming out to heaven. They flying down here. You know what I'm saying? And the angels are our brothers. Those are Israelites in the uh, uh, heavenly bodies, the celestial bodies. That's all an angel is, is an Israelite in a celestial body. Because if you think about it, bro, like, this spirit, every, I mean, like, like the animals and the insects. They can fly? Yeah, they, they got spirit. They pretty much got super powers, pretty much. Uh, even people, some people, I, mean, I remember we talked about that, I think, the last camp, at the camp. But people with the autism, they might the Lord might fuck them up with the autism, but then this motherfucker got perfect memory. He can remember everything he read. They memorize you know the whole saying? Bible. Yeah, that's crazy. That's I crazy. gotta get one of them guys in the camp. You yeah. don't need a Bible. Oh. Everybody give me John. <laughs> yeah. You get the rain man out here, bro. He get getting scriptures for you. But be like, I can't remember where that scripture is. Give me the autistic guy out here with me, bro. Yeah, come on, brother. So you know? So that tells you it's possible. That's crazy. They got actually people like that. You would think that's imp that's impossible. Uh, wasn't the Psalm three? So that yeah. So man, we laugh. Like you got people like Bo Cap Malone. They make fun of us because we say we're gonna get superpowers. But we have been through this a billion times. Did not Samson have superpowers? He was like the Incredible Hulk type strength, bro. I mean, Moses had superpower. He took a staff and turned it to a snake. Let me see y'all do that. I guess I guess that's not in the Bible. Yeah, how shot is healing people? That's a superpower. Walking walking on water is a superpower, bro. So we're gonna get superpowers. We're gonna be like the X-Men out here. We're gonna be like Magneto. We are gonna be like Professor X, bro. He that dude's soft. We more like in that Magneto spirit. <laughs> Let me get some 
got this in front My favorite scripture, bro. This man, when you, when you say read this scripture, it's very, it's very heavy. Alright? Because you gotta really put yourself in that perspective. This is Philippians 3, and I'm gonna start at 20. It says, For our conversation is in heaven. It's like how we having a conversation now about power, you know what I'm saying? Heavenly things, spiritual power. That's a, yeah, that's a heavenly heaven. We talk about angels. Yeah, hey, that's why they said that will be done as on earth as it is in heaven, you know? Uh, on earth yeah. as it is in heaven. As right. so above, so below. Right, right, right. It says, from which also we look for for the Savior, the Lord, the house of Mashiach, who shall change our vile body. He gonna change our vow, right? These bodies is vile, bro. You got them slip discs. <laughs> you know what I mean? You walk, you can't walk, bro. <laughs> we all messed up, bro. We got you catching cancer, all kind of diseases, ailments. You know, but the Lord gonna change us. We gonna have super bodies. Like you know, back in the ancient world, like the scriptures tell you, Moses. How old was Moses lived to be? But they said when well, Moses, when he died, that his eye was not dim. He was still in perfect health. Like, I believe Joshua was up in his 80s and stuff when he was battling against the Canaanites. He was already an old man when he was going to war. He was jumping over walls. He was leaping walls. He was running through troops. Because remember, he had to wait 40 years in the wilderness, Caleb and Joshua, right? So they was old men by the time. They were still fighting as old men. And, and they, bro, they was, running, they was running through Canaanites like goddamn dynasty warriors, bro. Like the god of war. You play the god of war, you just... You just going through a whole troop. You know, that's how the Lord gonna give us that spirit, man. Hey, and also, uh this, this, you can look up on shorts on YouTube and shit, where it got it got people on like bodybuilders and stuff like that. Uh tug of war with a uh, lion and tiger and shit like that. And then and it'd be like two men, two strong ass men tug of you know, two, doing the tug of war and the lion, he just he just standing there. These motherfuckers are struggling. But in the ancient world, you had men like Samson and King David, you know, and such like that, and was able to, to fight and kill lions, you know, oh, with boy, the bare um, hands. Eaters, eaters, hell. <laughs> you said what? Eaters, man, eaters. Oh, the dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, 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 right. <laughs> when King David was a boy, he grabbed a lion by his beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. And right. just smote him. And he killed the lion, didn't he? And, yeah, and, he, and he killed a fucking bear. A bear, man, shit. A bear as strong as a motherfucker. A bear can uproot a goddamn, I don't know about this tree, but he can, uh, I seen a video of, Motherfucking bear literally uprooted a tree. He just bears are terrifying, bro. And they can fly. They can just fast, run up bro. that tree fast as fuck. That's too. why y'all had stay away from the North Pole, bro. Don't go go up in the uh, the tundra up there. And, you know, I ain't, I'm good on. Well, they said polar bears are the most dangerous bear. Hey, oh yeah, they savages. They they scary. They're terrifying. They'll hunt you to the end of the earth, bro. Yeah. But soon we got the power, bro. We had knock a polar bear out with one punch, bro. Knock his goddamn head off. But we ain't gonna do that. Because they're going to be our homies in the kingdom, though. Just like, think about it. But we are right on a polar bear, bro. You know, with a spear and a sword in our hand. <laughs> we be using... We, we riding on it. We surfing on dolphins and shit. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Crowns and Narnia. I need to get... Uh, check that out. I ain't got read that since I was a kid. I think they found a big-ass... I forgot what it's called. I think uh, Joe Rogan was talking about a big-ass bear, right? Back in the ancient world and shit, bigger than you. Oh, yeah, everything in the ancient world was bigger. Big ass giant bears, giant sloths, giant saber tooth tigers, woolly mammoths. Yeah, woolly that, that, that fucking big as fuck, man. I'm scared of them. So that's how you that they used to be yeah. big people, too. Everything used to be bigger. You yeah, know what I mean? Oh, that's you. <laughs> What's that? You gonna ride a woolly mammoth? Oh, yeah. Hey. Right, oh, you know how they got the battle elephants, right? I'm trying to ride with the fire. You put, oh, you, yeah, we gonna put the tower on uh, the little battle station on top of it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> you know how they got the, the elephants where they put the, uh, it's like a fortress yeah, yeah, on top yeah, yeah. of it. We have like five or six dudes up in there. Sure. Yeah, we got, we talking, yeah, I got a little Oh, we I talking crazy now, right? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> it took a left turn on oh, your right, ass. Right. <laughs> 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 and that's how you know it's a spirit, because everybody can't have them type of conversations. Huh? Only brothers that's in this big. Because you don't really see a lot of brothers... You know what I'm saying? It's like these other camps talking about spiritual power, man. You know? Yeah, we like communicating with animals. Mm -hmm. and, you know, King Solomon, he had power. He could talk to animals. It's a, if you can find that scripture, you ain't got to find it. 
We got going with all that. You can find a scripture on your own time. He could talk to animals. You know, like Aquaman talking to the dolphins. But I don't know how they did it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You be like Namor on your ass, bro. We gonna come out to sea on your ass with a fleet of dolphins and whales and some orcas on your ass, bro. That's how it should be. That's because, you know, that's what the Lord said when he first created everything. He said, uh, I give Ben dominion over the animals. You know, Adam, he had dominion. He was king of all that shit. You and know he named saying? them all, right? Yeah. And then Noah, you know what I'm saying? How do you get all those animals inside that, that, that boat? Saying, they, they show you that in the me. movie. He's right, all right. He's doing a little bird. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see that. That part of the movie is kind of fresh, though. But there's, right. some, there's too much bullshit in that movie to give it credit. Right. Too much credit. But there's some good parts in that movie. Yeah, they got the shape of the art correct in that movie. You know? If you read the dimensions on the art, it's shaped just like an aircraft carrier. A long rectangular shaped art. You ever studied the dimensions of the art? I'll go ahead. Oh, they say the Ark was not possible. But he got aircraft carriers holding like untold amounts of weight. You know what I'm saying? Got got like, you can look it up, however many they cut, hold like 20 some jets on one aircraft carrier. That's a lot of weight, bro. Plus all that ammunition, all that, bro. That's a lot of weight. They call them uh, miniature cities, man. It's a city on water. So you gonna tell me if Noah couldn't have a, have a ship like that? And the first aircraft carriers were made out of wood, by the way. They only started making them out of metal for the for, uh, ar for uh, armor. They made the reason they made start making aircraft carriers on metal. First, they put the metal on the side. It wasn't to make it float better and work better. It's for armor. Go ahead. This first twenty-one. Oh, Slocky, Noah didn't need armor, right? Was he bad? Everybody else was already dead. <laughs> Go ahead. It says verse twenty-one. It says, "Who shall change our vile body?" That it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. Because we're gonna be joint heirs with the side. And just think, man, that's a, that's a heavy statement. It says our body is gonna be fashioned like unto the side's body. This is the, the most powerful being in the universe, okay? Under Yahweh. So we're gonna be top, man, we're gonna be man. The Lord gonna put us on a level, man. To be fashioned like unto him. That's that's heavy, man, you know. No, when I sit and think about that and analyze that, you know, it's like, man, that's, man, that's power, man. The Lord's going to give us some heavy power, man. Why are everybody saluting us out here today? That's our spirit today. The brother just robot saluted us. You know, hey, that's the spirit, bro. We're getting close. The Lord's about to give us some power, man. He said, um, he said, do the things I do and more. And more. What did he do? He was healing people. He rose people from the dead. Yahweh Shai, he rose Lazarus from the dead. Okay, he was walking on water. Even Peter walked on water with him for a second. And then, you know, he fell, but... Ooh, God, That'd be amazing. You just walking on the water. Like, I got to cross this river, bro. I'm just, I'm just walking on it, chilling. Okay, it says, Who shall take our vile body? That it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able to be able to subdue all things unto himself. That's it, man. That's it, man. We're gonna be fashioned like in the house of God. So that's what we want. We wanna get out of this, out of this body. You know what I'm saying? We wanna get out of these chains. You know? Chains of darkness. That's what these bodies are chains of darkness. Okay, precept. Zechariah um, 12. I'm going to start at um, 5. It says, And the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, The inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my ship and the house of hope their God. It says, in, a, in that day will I make the governors of Judah like a thief of fire among the wood, and like a torch of fire in a shaft. Ooh, and, and they shall devour all the people round about, on the right hand and on the left. And Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in their own place, even in Jerusalem. How will also shall save the tents of uh, Judah first, uh, that the glory of the house of David and the glory... You'll save it, uh, Slocky, the tents of Judah first. You notice how it was Judah who started uh, teaching first, too. You notice that? The Judah's the head tribes of Judah that actually does have more responsibility. That's The Messiah came out of Judah. You know, that's why people, when 
when uh, the elders first started teaching, it's mostly Judah out there teaching. You notice that, right? I just got to throw that out there because a lot of other tribes have a problem with Judah a lot. You know what I mean? But the Lord set it up like that. He set it up so Judah will be the first ones to start teaching, man. Oh, go ahead. It says, uh, And the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. And that day shall Yahweh defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. Mm -hmm. And the house of David shall be as God, Woo. and the angel of Yahweh before them. Read that part again. What did I say? It says, But in that day Yahweh shall defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. Yeah, either, even the feeble among us, like the weak, weak, weaker brothers, because not everybody's a bodybuilder and, you know, super strong, badass. And when the Lord gets that power, he's going to be a badass. You know what I mean? <laughs> so to speak, you know what I mean? I'm using, you know, I, I don't know how to use uh, the good English word. Go ahead. <laughs> it says, in the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of Yahweh before them. They're going to be his angels, bro. So even the feeble among us is going to be, I would say, they're going to chase, uh, chase a, put a thousands to flight. And that is, is that a, you just type in flight. Take flight. We're going to take flight. We don't want to talk about chasing the heathens down. Yeah. And also too, real quick, for, uh, um, that's why you read that Exodus 7, it says, uh, the Lord said, see, today I have made, talk to Moses, I have made the, a God to Pharaoh and Aaron, thy, thy brother, a prophet. And this is, hey, this is the new Egypt. The Lord gonna make us as gods before these people. Like we already mentioned before, Moses had power. He had literal spiritual power, man. Moses wasn't no joke either. Moses would beat your ass, man. Like, you think Moses was soft? Moses would crack you right upside your head, man. Spill your head like a, bust your head like a watermelon. <laughs> now go ahead. Leviticus 26 and 7. Yeah. Says, oh, that's just annoying, bro. Okay. And you shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. And five of you shall chase a hundred. Five to chase a hundred. And a hundred you shall put ten thousand to flight. And your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. And that's what's going to happen too, man. And people laughing at us now. Ooh. Okay, that's good. Laugh all you want. Soon we're going to be the kings of the earth. It ain't going to be maggot taking over the planet. It's going to be his maggot. Ma maggot? Maggot? The maggots. The maggot. Make America great again, oh, redheads. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> they, they take it over. Bro, this whole shit's about to go down. This whole America is about to be destroyed, bro. Right. Lord, this is Babylon the Great spoken of in the prophecies and Revelation. Green justice. Green I know, right? That's a good thing. That's what means the Lord blessing us. The rain from rain comes to ice. Please yeah, yeah. yeah, look at the bright side of things. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Uh, this is um, Jeremiah 51 and 19. It says, The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the Oh, the portion of Jacob is not like them. So, well, we, we ain't all the nations that are not the same. If all, we all the same. God love everybody. God don't love everybody. He did not create all nations the same. You, you can look at Israel right now and see that we not like these heathens, man. Look, we uh, look at sports. We just talking about college football earlier. Almost, <laughs> what, what, what? Let's say, what colors all the players? <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, yeah, Israel's not a color. We you know what I'm saying. It's all Israel who's dominating sports. I tell you, everybody ain't the same right there. Look, where are all the Chinese Americans at on Ohio State football team? Barely. Well, well, you gonna see a Chinese quarterback? What about a so-called Jewish, the Jewish, you know, uh, Amalek, Esau? You gonna see an Edomite quarterback out there with an Aquiline hook nose? He run, he run, he calm plays. You ain't never gonna see that, bro. Ain't, you ain't never seen that. Or oh, what? What's another goofy ass nation? An Ishmaelite. <laughs> you gonna see an Ishmaelite? He too dumb, bro. He can't me keep memorizing plays. <laughs> Uh, so could you imagine Ishmael on your football team? <laughs> he, <don't like. laughs> he ended up killing somebody out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can't yeah, follow yeah. the rules. He like, Allah! Yeah. Allah Akbar! He'd blow the whole the op opposition up. Right, like <laughs> <dang>. <laughs> Fuck out of here. It's, Israel is running shit in the sports world. And fo uh, football, boxing. Okay. 
even what's your boy's name the big uh Tyson Fury he's an Israelite he's a crazy Irishman right even he an Israelite and that's he always giving praises to the Lord ain't he I'll go ahead read that again this is um, Jeremiah 51 19 it says the portion of Jacob is not like him for he is the former of all things the former mean the best go ahead and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. And Israel is the rod of the Lord's inheritance. Not not Esau, not not Ishmael, but Israel. Okay? The heathens ain't getting no inheritance with the Lord. Okay? Not the, not inheritance we get, which is the kingdom. Go ahead. It says, the Lord of hosts is his name. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. And actually say, Yahweh of hosts, Yahweh of the armies. Okay? Because he's the Lord of the armies. That's them holy, them holy army. What's the way to say it? The mighty angels. Okay, go ahead. It says, verse 20, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. He's talking to Israel. Israel is the Lord's battle axe and weapon of war. He going to use us to subdue these heathens. Go ahead. It says, For with thee will I break in pieces the nation, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Whoo! So that tell you right there, the Lord going to use us, Israel, you know, to, to take the take the earth. I'm gonna read down a couple more verses. Twenty-one. He says, "And with thee will I break the pieces of the horse and his rider." Also, like you can't forget either. Even Yahushai himself is an Israelite. He from the tribe of Judah, and he's going to be leading the charge. Yahushai and the angels. Like I said, he's an Israelite. You don't ever forget that. He's an Israelite from a tri from the tribe of Judah. And all the angels are also Israelites. I'll go ahead. It says, And with thee will I break the pieces of the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break the pieces of the chariot and his rider. And that goes too for the tanks, the planes, the Hummers, the armored vehicles, you know, the jet fighters, all of that. We would jump up in the, in the sky and you know, just kick them, do a roundhouse kick on a plane in the sky. You know what I mean? Send that bitch flying into the ocean. Yeah. Verse 22 says, With thee also will I break in pieces, man and woman. Man and woman. So the woman going to get it too. It says, And with thee will I break in pieces, old and young. Old and young. Well, it don't matter because you got wicked old people out here. You know, you got a lot of these old people. What does the scripture say? You can't put new wine in old bags. You got a lot of old bags out here that's wicked as hell, man. And it's been teaching the younger generations to be wicked. Go ahead. It says, And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. With thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. Good. It's all these heathen nations. They going down. They going to go bow down and lick the dust of our feet. Oh, what scripture is that? Well, that's, that's like the Western world. Oh, right, the West is going down. But there's going to be one kingdom. It's going to be the kingdom of Israel. And that's the kingdom of heaven. Okay, that's why we say the Lord's Prayer. We say, uh, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. That's the main thing we praying for. The Lord's kingdom going to come. This thing, when the Lord's kingdom come on the earth, Ain't gonna be no other kingdoms, bro. There ain't gonna be no America. There ain't gonna be no UK, no Germany. It's gonna be the kingdom of the Most High. That's it. Everything else is gonna be destroyed. Because you got people, they wanna hold on to America. They wanna hold on to this bullshit out here, you know what I mean? We pray the Lord destroy this, destroy this whole place, man. What you got? This is a. Hey, that spirit's out there because people, have, everybody's talking about how the West is degenerate. The West is degenerate, okay? The whole world life and wickedness actually does. Because them heathens in the East, they wicked too, you know what I mean? Boy, the East is better, but it's still, it's still, not, it's still not righteous, you know? Go ahead. The West is like you. The West is real bad, but go ahead. Then 7 and 18, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, because that's the kingdom forever and ever, even ever. Ooh, where's that at? Read that again. Daniel 7 and 18, it says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. And who's the saints? The saints is Israel. Give me Psalms 148. 
Read that again and then give me Psalms 148. But the saints of the it says, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, possess the kingdom forever, and forever and ever. So it said the saints and the saints of the Israelites. We said we're gonna take the kingdom. We ain't gonna, you know, we're gonna take it. So the, like I said, Yahweh Shai is an Israelite. And he, he's the head. He's the king of kings and lord of lords. He's going to be with there leading the charge. And we're going to take the kingdom, man. Through the power of Yahweh Shai, from Yahweh Shai, we're going to take it. And the Lord going to set up his everlasting king. Oh, do a search on everlasting kingdom. I didn't know a scripture to say that. The world without food. Yeah, uh, what I say? Psalms 148, where it yeah. talks about Israel. So Psalms 148, and um, I'm going to start out. Uh, I'm gonna start at 11. It says, "Kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord, for His name alone is excellent." Right. So in the kingdom, all the nations of the earth, they all gonna bow down to the Lord. What does the scripture say? Every knee shall bow. Right. They're not gonna be partakers of uh, of the rulership with us. But they still gonna bow down and they gonna do what they told. And the whole world gonna be be in its proper order. Okay. Go ahead. It says, "His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints." The hold up. I said the praise of all his saints. Go ahead. Even of the children of Israel. Even the children of Israel. Because that's tell you the Israelites are the saints. And when you look up the word saints in Hebrew, it says, uh, Kwadashim. It just means holy people, right? Yeah, uh, wait, find me a scripture to say the Israel, you're supposed to be holy. You know, you're supposed to be holy people. I know there's a bunch of scriptures to say that, right? Because mm -hmm. Israel, we, we, the Lord created Israel to be a holy people, separate from the nations. Really the word uh, uh, holy means to be separate. That's why the Lord created Israel to be a holy people separate from all the other nations, man. Because the other nations are heathens. <laughs> They're fucking filthy heathens. They're filthy heathens. It's on Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It says, for thou art holy. And it says it right here. Oh, yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah. The title says, God has chosen Israel. God has. Oh, give me a... Uh, First Chronicles 16 and 13. That's my new favorite scripture. First Chronicles 16 and 13. Says he just read that. What does that say? It says God has chosen That's Israel. Kind of what is it? First, First Chronicles 16 and 13. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It says, For thou art an holy people. This is talking to Israel. It said, Thou art a holy people. And that word holy when in Hebrew is what? Quadash. And when you look up the word saint in Hebrew, the saints. It's Kodash Yom. It's the, it really means holies. So you are the holies. The holy ones. That's a better way to say it. The holy ones. The holy ones are the saints. That's Israel. Not a heathen. Not Esau. Not Ishmael. Israel. Go ahead. It says, For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Yeah, so Israel's above all the people on the face of the earth. Wow, well, that's racist. It is what it is. Okay? The Lord clearly said Israel to be a holy people above all nations. Above all people. I think they keep going on that too, don't they? Is there a little extra? Verse 7, it says, The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because ye were more in number than any people. But ye were the fewest of all people. Yeah, originally we were the fewest. We started off as the fewest. Now we become the most numerous on the planet. You know, because, you know, really, Israel, we like one of the last nation formed. All them other nations came before us. But that's why the Lord created a holy people, man. Even though we was actually chosen before the earth was created. That's a whole, that's too deep for y'all. What's verse 8? It says, but because the Lord loved you, because... He will keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers. Have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bond, bondmen from the hand of the Pharaoh, from the like, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. He will deliver us out of America, modern day Pharaoh. Okay, these wicked eyes eat them like these leeks. This is like the modern day Egypt. That's why you see the the. 
America was created the same year as the Illuminati. You can't make this shit up, bro. 1776 is when the Illuminati was created. And, and they, I, that came first, didn't it? In the, like, May something, 1776, the Illuminati was created by Adam Weishaupt in Bavaria, Germany, right? And then here comes July 4th, America's created, just miraculously. And one of the stated goals of the Illuminati was what? They wanted to get rid of all these monarchies. And they wanted to, you know, set up their bullshit. And what's that symbol? It's the all-seeing eye with a pyramid, bro. Get the fuck out of here. That's an Egyptian symbol, the all-seeing eye, the eye of Horus. That's the house of bondage. That represents the house of bondage. Every time you look at the back of a dollar, that represents your bondage and your slavery. And America was a nation founded on slavery. It's like, you can't make this shit up. What you got? First, uh, Chronicles 16, uh, 13. O-U-C to Israel, his o servant. Ooh, O-U-C to Israel, his servant. So we're supposed to be servants. I bought you of, of the Lord. We're supposed to serve. Our whole life is dedicated, supposed to be dedicated to serving the Lord, man. Go ahead. It says, he children of Jacob is chosen one. His children of Jacob, you chosen one. So Israel's the cho That's a fire scripture, right? That's like one of my new go-to scriptures. That says, it's very similar to the Psalms, what, that 105 and 6? Get that one, too. You can get all the scriptures. You keep them scriptures coming like a Gatlin gun. Now, can you see a Christian do this? Just come out scripture, scripture, scripture. They're sitting in tap dancing, sing that low, oh, loaded, loaded, Jesus, loaded. Like Dino, I was walking, bro, you posted that Dino Jennings in the chat, bro. I couldn't even make it to the end of the video, man. I had to turn that. He was just up there, jive, he was up there jive talking for an hour. Jive turkey? Yeah, yeah, jive, jive turkey. <laughs> Psalms 105 and 6 says, Oh, you see the Abraham, his servant. Oh, you see the Abraham, his servant. Ye children of Jacob, he's chosen. His children of Jacob. said the same thing. He just read it over there. It said the same thing from the book of Genesis, bro, all the way to the book of Revelation. It's all about Israel. Okay? Matthew 15 and 24. Not, not no spiritual Israel. Oh, yeah. No, that's because I was dealing with the, the JW nigga. Oh, no, that, that's spiritual now. That's spiritual now. Jehovah... He, he told the Gentiles and, and their spiritual Israel, no, he's talking about the nation of Israel. It's, it's that scripture in uh, the end of Galatians, I think, when they go into Israel. You know that scripture? I just did a video on it. So there's the last couple of scriptures in Galatians. That's what that's what they're gonna try to get. But first, get no. First, give me uh before you read that one, you gotta do the setup scripture. Give me a Romans 9 where it said they are all not Israel that are Israel. Give me that one first. And then read that. They give you a better understanding. Romans 9. Um, I'm going to get to the point in verse 6. It says, Not as though the word of Yahweh has taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Well, actually, let's read. Oh, yeah. Read Romans 9 and 3 first. Romans 9, verse 3, For I could wish that myself were a curse from the anointing for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. According to the flesh. So there's not, there's not a spiritual Israel. You cannot just like be an Ishmaelite or a Moabite or an Edomite. And act, you cannot be an actual Edomite, Moabite, Ishmaelite, Ammonite, and just magically get transformed into an Israelite. That's not how that works. Now we had to see that Israel was mingled among the heathens through the patrilineal line. Because if your father's 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 father was an Israelite, you're an Israelite. Okay? But but knowing that, knowing that, look, the Lord only came for Israel. He told you that in Matthew 15, 24. He said, I'm only sent to Israel. But knowing that, just because you're an Israelite don't make you righteous. Try to, uh, 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 nigga tried to like, he tried to like flip it like as well. Oh, he's like, oh, well, the Jews denied Jesus you know, I'm like, okay, we understand it was some wicked Jews, yeah. but what do you say is a remnant of Israel that's going to be saved, the one third? They said they the denied elect him. Of Israel. They didn't all deny it. Exactly, that's what I was telling you. Yeah. What about, what about, uh, uh, I said the apostles are Israelites. 
What about Nicodemus? Wasn't he a Pharisee? Right. But he did he did not deny the Lord. Okay, Nicodemus, you know, he accepted the Lord. Okay, you had all kind of that. Was, of course, the majority of our people were wicked, man. But all the twelve disciples were all Israelites. They didn't reject him. Okay. So he just read it. He said, "Who are Israelites? To whom pertain the adoptions, the covenants, the glory, all of that." But just because you're an Israelite, that does not automatically make you righteous, man. Because that's why he also said they are not all Israel that are that are Israel. Okay. Because uh, the majority of our people, two thirds of our people, are, the Lord counted them as heathens, man. He said, you, "You're wicked and evil. You worse than the goddamn heathens." You know what I mean? So spiritually, you're not an Israelite. Right, so read this. Oh, you can go to that Galatians now. This is Galatians six, and I'm gonna start at fifteen. It says, "For in Hamashiach Yahushai, neither circumcision a lie of anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. And as many as walk according to the to this rule." Peace be on them in mercy and upon the Israel of Yahweh. Yeah, the Israel of Yahweh. In the English it says the Israel of God. And we know God's name is Yahweh. So you got the Israel of Yahweh. That's the ones who actually believe in him and calling upon his name. That's It's not, you know, because like I said, just because you're an Israelite don't make you righteous, man. That's talking about the elect right there. The, the ones who truly believe in the Lord with all their heart. Okay. It's on Romans 11 and 7. Said, what then? Israel have not obtained that which we seek for. Oh, exactly. Most of our people, they have not obtained what they seek for. Go ahead. He said, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blind. But the elect did obtain it, and everybody else was blind. That was beautiful right there. Hey, I'm about to stop this so the video don't get too long. Oh, we're going to say, uh, Charlotte, we're about to do another part.